Hello. Good morning. Is Don there from... Uh... Hi, this is Don. Hi, Don. How are you this morning? Uh, uh, I'm, what can I do for you? I'm calling from the uh, security company. Right. And we've had a bit of a problem at the uh, construction site last night and early this morning. What kind of a problem? Um, I'm afraid uh, some vandals got onto the site and really did a lot of damage by the looks of it. I'm, I, just, uh, I just arrived here earlier on, and uh, it, it is bad. Well, this is the first I've heard. You guys just came on site and discovered this? Well, no, sir. It actually it was discovered about half an hour ago, what? and 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 my uh, my detail gave me a call, and I came down, and I, I've got your number to call you. God damn, you know we're just about on a we, we got a we got an entire program in place for an early completion. We're just about done. What? Uh, how far back are we set here? I mean, is this something major or? Well, I'm not a construction expert, so I couldn't really tell you that. But I will tell you by the looks of the damage, this place is trashed. I mean, God. there are holes in damn the. It. Holes what, what, in the wall. They busted all the windows. They've, uh, they've. Uh, you have got to be kidding me. No, it's and it's almost every room. Son of a bitch. I don't know how they got inside, but they got inside the building. Yeah, I don't know how they got inside either. Uh, you're, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a little surprised to hear this, fellas. We have uh, security in place, uh, as I'm sure you know. I mean, uh, well, what, what seems to be the problem? Well, where's my security people if? Uh, well, we had our best men on the job, and it surprises me. However, they did tell me that they went out for a break last night. Well, yeah, around... I'd say they went out for a break. What do you mean your best men on the job? You're telling me that I've got holes in the walls, windows broken. How long do these people have to be here? I mean, how long is this guy's goddamn break? Well, they, they told me that they were gone for approximately 45 minutes to an hour and a half. Well, uh, you know, this is this is not my my problem here. This is a problem with my security. Obviously, what the hell am I paying you guys for? A forty-five minute break in the middle of the night? Well, y y you see, Don, they they are allowed an hour break. Now, if they ran into traffic or some kind of pitfall along the way, <laughs> wait a minute. This is this is ludicrous. Okay, first of all, I'm going to lose the money for the damages. I'm going to lose the money for paying you idiots to do a job that you're not doing. And now I'm going to lose the money for not finishing this project on time. I mean, we have an early bonus completion. We're just about done. The reason that you guys are there is to prevent this kind of thing from happening. I mean, I, I, just because you have the break coming does not give any excuse for the whole damn place to be trashed like well, this. Well, I know, and I, we will reprimand the, the, uh, the crew that we had on, on the site last night, but it, it just couldn't be helped. <sighs> Unbelievable. You know, we come into the neighborhood, we're doing a good job trying to beautify the place. I mean, you, you know that neighborhood. I mean, what do you think you guys are there for? There's Mexicans all over the place. Yeah, you, why on earth would you take the brakes off? Like, there's got to be some kind of a way around it. I mean, this is this is no excuse. I mean, all you're telling me is, gee, we're sorry. Don, Don, you know, I, I kind of wish you wouldn't have just said that about the neighborhood and the area involved. Said what? And the fact that your crew said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on Dirty Friday. You're on the air. Oh, no, 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 no. And your Mexicans in the area are going to roast your ass when Good you come morning. back to that construction site. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your crew says you're about finished. They wanted to sting you on Dirty Friday, Don. I know a whole, whole bunch of fellas that are going to get a lot less breaks than your school. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Don. That's on the radio? Yes, you yes, are you, on the radio. Yes, Do you have anything to say to your crew? <laughs> <laughs> that what I got to say to the crew ain't going on the radio for you. <laughs> hey, Don, hold on the line, okay? We'll have a little construction project for you here. I'll say. All, All right. right. All right. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, a midwife. I was given this number. Oh, yes, that would be me. Uh, your name is Nikki? Uh, yes, good morning. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I hope I didn't wake you up. Oh, no, I, I just returned home. I was on call all evening. That's, that's fine. Can oh, I help you? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm sorry to call so early, but I'm leaving out of town on business in about oh. an hour and a half here, and I want to call before I go to the airport. Oh, that's quite all right. Um, I, was I was referred to you by uh, uh, Don and Carol. They, uh, they used your services uh, probably about five years ago. I don't know if you remember them. Um, do you have a last name? Uh, no, they're friends of a friend of a friend kind of thing. We, we're talking to them at a party. Um, it's, not, it's not ringing a bell, but I'm, I, I see a lot of people, so... I understand. Now, I hear you're very, very good. And uh, we're expecting a baby in uh, in a in a probably a couple months here. Okay. Are, are you interested in a um, 
know, a home birth, a birthing center? Do you ha have you have you discussed things that far yet? Yeah, well, uh, my partner and I uh, think that probably something at home would be a little better than uh, we we kind of look forward to that. Okay, that's understandable. That's that seems to be the trend these days. Um, um, how how far along is your partner? Um, my partner is um eleven months right now. Uh, eleven months. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, so I'm <laughs> assuming you've had some prenatal care before. Um, not to uh. N no, ma'am. I have a lesson in biology here this morning, but um, the the average you know gestation of a of an infant is is thirty eight forty weeks. So that's going to be a pretty big baby. <laughs> no, no, it's been eleven months. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> and I think we're probably expecting the uh, the baby sometime within the next six weeks. I think in about six weeks is what we're getting for. Oh, now, have you spoken with anyone prior to me? I mean, have you had, you know, prenatal care as of yet? Well, my veterinarian. Uh, excuse me? Yeah, my partner, I took her to the veterinarian. Uh, I'm so, I, don't, I don't follow. <laughs> Well, I, I make love to a horse, and we're going to have a colt pretty soon, and I thought you could maybe help deliver it. Sir, you are sick. <laughs> I, think, uh, I, think, I think colt is a nice name for your young boy. <laughs> Cold Hollywood. <laughs> Sounds like a private investigator. <laughs> Did you hear her? The movie star. <laughs> At first, she tries to be all friendly and correct me. <laughs> no, the average gestation period. <laughs> Starring Cold Hollywood. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Nikki, the midwife. Uh, yes, this is she. Hi, Nikki. Now, listen, don't be discriminate, uh, discriminating against me because of my sexual taste. Excuse me, it is very early, and I have been out all night long doing something Ooh. very important, and I don't need to speak to perverts like you. It's Ooh, Nick, Nikki? Uh, Nick, Nikki? Listen. I'm hanging up. No, no, don't hang up because your husband, Gary, right? Yes. He was riding that horse, too. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92.3 KSJ. It's Dirty Friday. Nikki, you're on the air. You're on the radio. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill him. You're on the radio. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, well, got me this morning. <laughs> he's, hey. you know, he's been talking about doing this for a long time. He finally got me. Yeah, he finally got you. He wanted us to call you and just say, hey. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Uh, yeah. oh, I don't think she thinks it's too funny. <laughs> okay. Nikki, hold on the line, okay? We're going to set you up with a little something. Okay. Uh, we're just horsing around. <laughs> Sort to of make an ass out of you. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what, Nikki. You we'll call your husband sometime. We'll get him to pony up. There we go. I think I'm calling her at work here, so we've got to be prepared. Winway. It's Claude. This is Cheryl. Hi, I'm looking for Andrea, please. Certainly. Just one moment, please. Thank you. Giants back in town this weekend. Hello, this is Andrea. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Uh, I'm calling from, uh, well, I'm, I'm calling, uh, I, I, I was at the gym earlier on today. You and, were? Okay. Y yeah, and uh, I, I don't know if you remember, you signed me up for the uh, to join the gym about five years ago or so. Okay. And, and I was kind of like smiling at you this morning. I don't know if you really noticed because I know it's pretty busy in there today. Okay, yeah, I was very busy this morning. Uh, yeah. But, I saw so many people. I'm sure I, I would recognize you if I saw you. Yeah, but that, see, that's why I'm calling you because I've got a kind of an embarrassing problem here. And okay. uh, hopefully you can help me. Sure. I left something at the gym, and I'm wondering if you can pick something up for me. Okay, we do have a lost and found here. So yeah, maybe we... well, I, don't, I don't know. I can't, I, I'm hoping you can get it before it goes there because it's, uh, it's kind of personal. Okay. Okay. Sure. Would you Would you leave? Uh, I left uh, my prosthetic device there. Uh, okay. Um, what is it again? My prosthetic device. Okay. Is, it, is that like, like a limb or something? Well, kind of. Okay. Um, it, it, be on the lookout for it. It's like twelve inches long. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm sorry, what was it again that you were looking for? Uh, my prosthetic device. Oh, okay. Okay, that's what I thought you said. Yeah, I took it off and I, I left it laying and I, I got home and I just, oh my God, I left it there. Okay. Um, 
Could you maybe describe it? Uh, yeah, it's about 12 yeah. inches long. Mm -hmm. And it looks like a baby's arm holding a plum. Oh, okay. Um, what, what color is it? Uh, it's fleshy colored. Okay, fleshy colored. Uh, and like a baby's uh, arm? Yeah, holding, uh, that's what it looks like, holding a plum. Have you seen one of these lately? Uh, no. Do you know where you left it? Um, I Maybe think... Maybe in the men's locker room, or... No, I, le I left it near your desk. Oh, near the desk? Yes. Okay. Um, hmm. I haven't seen one around. Uh, maybe it fell out of your gym bag, or... No, it was near my hmm. bag, but I, it didn't fall out of my gym bag. Now, listen, are you sure you haven't seen one up close like this lately? No, maybe I'm, I'm not real clear on what it is. Is it, is it a leg? Is it an arm? Um... No, it looks like one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's very veiny. colored, about 12 inches long. Yeah. Hmm. I haven't seen that around. I've, I've never even noticed anyone having a prosthesis in here. It must look very uh, lifelike. Oh, it's very lifelike. It's uh, made, uh, it's a uh, big Johnson. Oh, yeah? Right. Yeah. I've never, is that like with the company, Johnson yeah. & Johnson? Oh, uh, okay. It's, it's the big Johnson uh, prosthetic, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, they they make like the baby powder and everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm, I, I haven't. I haven't seen it, uh, but you know I'll check. I'll check around. I'll have uh, one of the guys here go look in the men's locker room. No, 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 no. I want. I want you to grab you want, it. You want me to do it? Yes. Okay. Um, right now we're kind of busy. I can't. I can't really go in the locker room, but I will. Well, no, I don't. It's near your desk. Near if the you desk. Could, if you could grab desk. my Johnson prosthetic, that'd be great. Oh, okay. I'll. I'll look around for it. I don't. I don't see it right now. Um. But I'll, I'll check around the desk. I'll check upstairs, too. If you can just walk around saying, hey, I'm looking for the Johnson uh, unit. That's can the official name. Can you hold on a second? Let me just turn, look around the corner here. Okay, that'd be great. Has anybody seen a, a prosthetic? Pro prosthetic? A prosthesis? What is it? Yes. Mm, I'm, I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'm not, I, I don't you, see you, anything. Have you seen one of these lately? Real up close? No, I haven't. No? Well, you know, the gang at work said you probably haven't either. It's Lamont Tonelli calling from KSJO. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, my God. You're on the air. <laughs> Have you seen my Johnson lately? Oh, you know, <laughs> Good I knew morning. what you were describing, and I knew I hadn't seen that. <laughs> you know, everyone out on the floor is listening to me right now. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> They got me. They oh, got me. They got you big time. <laughs> hey, hold on to my Johnson near your desk, okay? We got a little something for you. Okay. Uh, Andre is it Andrea or Andrea? Andrea. Oh, it's Andrea. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks for being a good sport, Andrea. Oh, <laughs> uh, no problem. I'll tell you what. I like the fact she actually peeked her head out the door. I'm looking for this Johnson yeah, this, thing. This Johnson unit thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great dirty Put line and sinker for Andrea. Hello, how are you doing? I'm calling from... Hello? Hello, can I talk to Chris, please? Uh, speaking. Chris? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry to tell you that uh, your booking for Sunday has been... Uh, uh, your limo services won't be available for Sunday. What, what, what are you talking about, ma'am? I'm talking about your booking for Sunday, this Sunday. Yes. Uh, we won't be able to uh, avail a limo for you. Oh man, come on, don't, don't, wait a minute now. Hold on a second, let me turn this TV down. What are, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, we'll be very busy uh, this weekend and uh, we won't be able to, 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 to give you a limo. Oh man, come on now, this is, hey. Who am I speaking? Hello? Hello? Yes. I, 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 I booked this resident. Come on, man. you, you got to be kidding me. I understand that uh, you really wanted a limo for this Sunday, but um, I won't be able to give it to you. Jesus. <sighs> you know, this is a very special... Even when I called up, man, I said I'm... <sighs> I'm taking my wife out to the Raiders game, and it is an anniversary. I can't believe this. I well, can't believe... Come on, man. You, you, you talked to my day daytime manager, and uh, actually, he overbooked the limos. Uh... We can't we can't give you a limo this this weekend. I don't I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe that's happening. 
Yeah, we, we, are, we, we, are, we are busy. I'm, I'm having my nephew's uh, wedding this weekend, and a lot, a lot of sheikhs will be coming to, the, to, 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 to attend the wedding. And each one of them needs a limo. You're using the limo for your own personal use, man? Yes, sir. What kind of business? What kind of, what kind of what kind of business are you guys running over there, man? Well, I mean, I, Jesus! <laughs> so, I don't, I don't, I don't believe this. Well, that, that's, uh, can, the, that's the fact. Can you, uh, can you get me, a, can you give me a number to another place I can, I can get a car from? I don't have time to give you a number for another place. You don't place. have time. No, I don't have time. I, uh, I don't have time. I'm very busy. I'm just uh, receiving a lot of calls from my brother my cousins and my friends and everybody's coming to the wedding I, 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 let me i don't i don't care about your cousins i don't care about your nephews i need a car um this is something i've been working on my wife does has no idea i'm taking to this game don't be a jackass you fool I, i'm not being who, who do you think you're talking i'm not excuse me and, and, and listen man i i don't I, I... you you know what? No, no. You take the bus. No, you... What? You take the bus instead of the limo. I take a bus? Yeah, punk. What? You know... What you, are, <laughs> you are a punk. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling. Chris, you're on the radio. Your wife said to give you a call for your anniversary. It's Dirty Friday. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Don't be a jackass, Sully. Oh, Don't be a jackass. Oh, oh, oh. So your wife said happy anniversary, Chris. <laughs> Don't be a jackass. Take the bus. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, we oh. hope you enjoy the later Denver game on Sunday. Oh, hey, you know, that's an awfully romantic anniversary out there, Chris. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, what, did you guys meet at a Raider game or something? <laughs> what is your 12th anniversary? <laughs> we have oh. down here, it's your 12th anniversary, your wife said. Yeah, and You're man. taking it to the Raider game. I don't believe this. You guys, are out of you guys are totally out of control. Uh, hang on, Chris. <laughs> Hold yeah. on the line, we'll, Chris. We'll set you up with something for the Raider game on Sunday. All right, One, all right. you guys are out of control. <laughs> <laughs> so is your wife. Did I say my name was Lance? Yes. Okay. Hello? Good morning. Is this Brian's mother? Yes, it is. Hi, it's Lance calling again. Listen, I'm calling for Brian or, or yourself. I'd like to apologize. I guess Brian didn't really tell, me, uh, tell you about me. Lance? I don't even want to talk to you with the language you used with me before. Now listen, listen, listen. D d d just take it easy. Take it easy. I've been trying to get a hold of Brian to talk to him about this. Just take it easy now. Watch your temper. Lance? I'm just calling to say I'm sorry that you got so bent out of shape. Where did you tell me you met Brian again? I met him at the Butt Ranger Paradise at the bar in town. What kind of bar is that, Lance? It's just a watering hole. We just mm. sit on our stools and meet people and have a good time well lance i want you to stay away from my son i'm going to get to the bottom now, now, of this now ma'am ma'am ma be before you tell me to stay away from him let me just say one thing he's a very loving warm soul lance you're sick stay away from now, my now, son brian a, a, b b brian also told me to give you a call this morning it's lamont and tonelli on a ksjl radio station we're on a bay area radio station <laughs> ma'am <laughs> Oh, Mike, you're calling from a radio station? Yes, it's good morning. KSJO, it's a rock station. Your son, Brian, is sitting at work. He said, welcome you to the Bay Area. You bet. Oh, I'm going to kill him. We, we, <laughs> we hope you enjoy your stay after you kill Brian. Oh, I'm so relieved. You know, we come from a good, God-fearing Christian family. And I thought I was going to have to pack him up and take him home. Hey, I no, think no. he's already been packed up. Hey, uh, <laughs> let me call on you, Brian's mom. Let me ask you one thing. What, what is your name? My name's Ida. Ida. Ida? Well, Ida, welcome to the Bay Area. What's your name? Ida Dick? <laughs> no, it's not their last name. We always say no last names on the air. No last names. Uh. Okay. You tell my son that he's in big trouble when he gets home. Ida Bush? No, it's not. No, we're not mentioning her last Ida name. Ida okay. He is in big trouble. Okay. He okay. is in big trouble. He's listening right now. You hold on. We'll give you a little welcoming present to the Bay Area, Ida Bush. No, it's not. <laughs> Member of the Bush family. Okay. Ida, thank you. Hang on a line, Ida. I'm sorry. Ida? For this harassment. Ida, what a yes. great name. It's not Ida Bush. Yeah. Not, she's not a member of the Bush family. <laughs> it's a good name. And we always say no last names. <laughs> so even if they were French with the last name of Poussey, we're not going to mention it. <laughs> oh, God. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Craig. Please. Is he? 
Hi, Craig. How you doing? I'm calling from uh, Productions. Yeah. And I'm calling in regards to the work order I have here for a bachelor party. Now, let me confirm that. Is it this weekend? It is. This weekend. All right. And you're having it at a private residence? Right on. Okay. Um, what exactly are, are, are you ordering this weekend? You know what? Uh, I'm glad you asked that. I would, um, we'd like her to be, um, I don't know, one of your, I mean, I want her to be good looking. Uh-huh. But, um, like one of your most friendly, um, and, uh, nastiest ones you have. I mean, this guy, I'd like him to go out in style. You'd like him, you'd like your buddy, now, it's, is your best friend getting married? You're in charge? You're the bat. Yeah, I'm the best man. Okay, so you're not the, uh, you're not the bachelor? No. Okay. Um, now, as you know, we do have rules with our company, no touching. Yeah. No, and, and, and the girls will do certain extras for the show, but once again, no touching, and the girls have a bodyguard. Uh, well, okay, you know, I understand the rules, but like I said, you know, somebody, somebody friendly, I mean, these, these, these are good guys, and they, they make a lot of money, so you know what I'm, you know what I'm going. Well, when you say these guys are good guys, and they make a lot of money. I mean, it, I mean. Oh, for tipping, just, tipping the girl? Oh, yeah. Okay. He's going to do fine. Okay, and, and is it one girl tonight, or? Um, I think. Or for Saturday night, right? Yeah, I think, I think just one, but that's a good question. Okay. All right, and uh, what is the batch the bachelor's name, the groom's name? James. James. Yeah. All right. And what time would this start? Oh, I'm I'm thinking is ten, ten all right? Ten o'clock on Saturday night. Yeah. And do you have any uh, special directions at all that we should be following for this party? Um. You know, I just, um, you know, just, just, you know, the friendlier, the better, you know, just a, a girl maybe that's, that's, um, that's, you know, a girl that's, uh, has got more experience there. Because, I mean, this guy, I'd, I'd like to see him go out in style because, man, we don't like the girl that he's marrying. <laughs> they just, they brawl constantly. And she's, uh, we know for a fact that she's been with, uh, uh, not one, but two of our friends. Well, not friends, but just guys that were, like, in the circle. So it's like... I have no respect for this particular uh, uh, marriage, and uh, hold it, Craig. You're the best man. <laughs> Let me just get this straight. I know it's none of my business. No, I've, I know. Dude, but, I, hold I, it. You, you have no respect for the marriage, even though you're the best man. Dude, I've tried to talk him out of it already. I've tried, but uh, it's like it's, I don't know. And, and your best friend's name is James. Yeah. And who is Steve? Is he in the wedding party as well? Yeah, he is. He called you initially, I think. Okay, because Steve told me to give you a call this morning. It's, uh... Hey, Craig? It's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJO Radio. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Good morning. Dude. Who is this? Lamont and Tonelli, 92 KSJO. You're on the air, bro. It's, um... It's on the airway? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> you have anything to say to the groom? <laughs> no. Nah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, now he's backpedaling. Hey, so is, what, what, ga what guys did the, the bride bone? You know how big this wedding party is? What if someone else, what is one of the brides here? <laughs> Craig? Uh, hey, Craig, hold on the line, okay? We may have a little something for you for this weekend. Oh, man. Well, I think we learned a little more there than we really intended. <laughs> wow. Hello, Barbara speaking. How could I help you? Hi, Barbara. How are you doing? I'm calling uh, from Human Resources. Uh, this is uh, Dick Scrotum calling. Hi. And I'm calling in regards to a, um, uh, a little uh, problem we've had here with our computer system, and maybe you can help me. Is, th is that possible? Do you have some time? Um, sure. Yeah, I have a few minutes. Okay. You. Now, now you... Um, there's no real nice way of saying this. You've been sending some emails, and I think, I, I think I've received an email from you that wasn't intended to be sent to me. Really? Yeah, we and we traced the email of a picture. Now, does this sound familiar? A woman making love to a horse. We've tra uh. we've traced this email to your computer, and I just got to tell you, I think it's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. D did you send this? <laughs> I'm so glad you think it's funny. I, yeah, so is me. <laughs> so you sent you sent this email? I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Barbara, you're fired. Barbara? What? You're fired. You know our company policy regarding email and smut and sexual discrimination. Uh, 
And this email clearly falls within the lines and the guidelines set up by the company. But you were just telling me you thought it was funny. Well, uh, sure, I think it's very funny that you actually sent this uh, on, on our system. This is not what our computer system and our email system is set up for. I, I'm really, I'm really sorry. Uh, uh, is, there, is there any way you can reconsider? It was, it was actually a mistake that I made. Well, yes, but you're still sending this type of email to various people within our company. Is that not correct? That's correct. All right, Barbara. Now, there's one thing I want you to do for me. What? Turn on your radio and say hi to the Bay Area. It's Lamont Antonelli on 92.3 KSJO. Barbara, you're on the air. <laughs> it's, dirty, it's Dirty Friday. <laughs> there's, a nervous, there's a nervous laugh. I can't believe it. Barbara, do you have anything to say to the gang at work? <laughs> oh, there's a nervous laugh. Barbara? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you keep laughing, Barbara. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Barbara, you okay? My heart stopped pounding. <laughs> Barbara? A woman making love to a horse? <laughs> Have you seen it? No, no. I just said it would you, would you, <laughs> Barbara, would you like to describe it to us? <laughs> it's mornings at KSJO.com. <laughs> Barbara, you hold on, okay? Okay. And Sully, you may have to resuscitate her. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was going to have a heart attack. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Did you hear how nervous she was? Oh, man. I mean... <laughs> Get the depends out. Oh, that was good stuff. They're going to be necessary. <laughs> it's 817 Lamont and Tonelli Raymond Sting and Vernon. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for Mrs. Hi, yeah, this is Jane. Hi, Jane. How are you? This is uh, the principal of uh, high school. Oh, my God. I hope nothing's uh, wrong. Well, you know, uh, we've, we've got a bit of a problem here, but don't worry, your son is okay. Uh, however, he is at the root of the problem here this morning. Oh. Uh, we've, had, we've had some trouble, and we caught your son, uh, Paul, smoking on school grounds. Okay. That and, doesn't sound too, too serious. <laughs> well, as you, real, as you can realize, it, it violates school policy. Okay. The children are not supposed to be smoking on school grounds. Right, 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 right. And we have to take action against them, but however, that is not really at the root of the problem. What is at the root of the problem? Well, the root of the problem is what he was smoking. Oh, God. Don't tell me. We caught him smoking pot. Oh, no. Weed. Grass. Oh, you're kidding. Marijuana. Well, I... I... I don't know how that could be possible because I don't I don't know where in the world he would even get that. Are you sure that it was? I mean, are you sure it wasn't cigarettes? No, ma'am. I we're definite it wasn't cigarettes. And well, that... you're doing it right now, you know, smoking cigarettes, the whole thing. Well, no, that's why we're calling you before we call anyone else here, because um, well, it, it seems that that he he said he got it from home. Oh, well, that's impossible. He, he shouldn't have gotten it from home. That's he's it's not you know there's no way. Well, he said, he said he got the marijuana from home. As a matter of fact, um, see, we're going to have to call the police in on this. Being, what? Well, he broke the law. Yeah, but it, there's, there's no way that he got it from home. I'm, 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 he's, he's not telling you the truth. I mean, I, I, we smoked, my husband and I, we, we would, uh, we know we quit. We smoked by years ago. I mean, four or five years ago, you know, and... So that's it's, you know, well. He he. Apparently, according to your son, he said younger, he got. You know? Well, he said he got it from home, and and we want to put an end to the drug problem at our school. Damn it. There's uh, okay. I, I I understand that, and I am in support of that. Uh, there is absolutely no way that that you know the pot came from my house. Uh, there's no pot here. No, it said you stopped smoking this three years ago. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, in the past. I don't know exactly the amount of years, but, you know, way back when I was younger, you know? Yeah. If this isn't really about me, though. This is about my son. I, I mean, so, you know, my husband, uh, I'm totally at a loss for words right now. now. Is there any possible way your husband could be smoking dope at home? I, I can't imagine. I think I would, I would know what my husband was up to. Well, you know, before we call the authorities, yeah. I just wanted to touch bases with you. 
and tell you that your son uh, is sitting at school and he said to give you a call. It's Lamont and Tonelli on 92 KSJO. You're on the air. Oh, my, oh my God. I'm going to kill it. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you kidding? It's Dirty Friday. Jane, you're on the air. Are you kidding? We're Good not morning. kidding. Oh, my God. We're not kidding. I thought I was totally going to get busted because it's the pot that I had in my house. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> You know, your son, your son said to give you a call that this would really shake you up. Well, my son listens to you every day. He hey, tells no. me about all the crazy things you do, and I cannot believe I'm included in it now. Hey, no, hey Jane, just one quick question for you. What, do you have a bag of dope in your house right now? No, of course not. No. You, be you better go flush it, Jane. you come in and arrest me. <laughs> you better go flush it, Jane. Oh. Uh, hey, you guys are crazy. Oh, hold on the oh, line, you know, okay? You can always just bury it and have a surprise in a few months. Oh. <laughs> hold on the line, Jane. Okay. There you go. Busted. Wow, did you hear her? Busted on Dirty <laughs> Friday. Oh, that was beautiful. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Hi, uh, I'm looking for uh, Jim. Is I don't know who's calling? Uh, yes, I'm calling from the uh, Plaza Hotel. Thank you. One moment, please. Thank you. Service to look and drive like new in our own new car service department. For a great value in a near new vehicle, come check out our big used car selection today. Yes, we'll take trades and arrange convenient financing. Please hold. We're trying to locate your party right now. Hi, this is Jim. Good morning, uh, Mr. Yes. Hi, Jim. Uh, Jerry uh, Fister calling from the um, hotel. I'm calling, Hi. I'm calling from the accounting department. Yes. And uh, we've got a bit of a problem here with the unpaid balance for your stay at our hotel. Okay. Uh, now, the, the room, according to the notes, maybe you can help me through this. The rooms were prepaid. Is that correct? Well, from what I understand, that was handled through... Um I forget who was handling that. It was, okay. It was through John Ditlifson. Yeah, because the rooms have been prepaid. However, the party does not want to pay for the uh, the taxes, Okay. the incidentals incurred to the room, and, yeah. and some of the damage that, that was incurred in the suite. Damage? Yes, sir. Like what? Well, the we, we had problems with the grand piano. Okay. And the last person that was in the suite was, was your party. And, um, and, and, and they will not pick up the damages. Okay. So, should I be billing this to, do you have a Visa card I can bill this to at all? Well, I have to get one and call you back. Is there okay. a good number to call you? Uh, yeah. Uh, plus, now, now the security cameras picked up, uh, you, you had the balcony, the, uh, you were in room 2201, is that correct? 2202 and 2204? I have no idea. Okay. I thought it was 2401. No, it's 2201, 2202, and 2204, according to our records. Okay. Um... You, you, uh, according to, uh, and I'm just going through the report here from, from security. The, uh, one of the bedrooms, there was some damage in the bedroom as well. Did you burn a hole in the carpet? No, we didn't even spend any time in the bedroom, actually. You didn't spend time in the bedroom? No, we spent it all in the living room. Jeez, well, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Uh... The, the way it's looking right now, the damage report and the taxes and incidentals and everything comes to approximately $2,200. I see. Well, if you could fax me over an itemized list of that, that'd be great. Absolutely. I'll give you a fax number. Okay, that'd be great, Jim. 408? Uh-huh. 249? Yeah. 881. Okay. And, Jim, maybe you'd also like to say hi to uh, your staff because it's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. <laughs> Jim, Jim, it's Dirty Friday. I tell you what. What's that? <laughs> Jim, <laughs> hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Jim, hey. instead your seller, I hear them in the background. Yeah, Jim, you were doing some tap dancing. Yeah. I, I knew something was up there. I figured I'd burn the bedroom because we weren't even in there. Hey, Jim, happy 40th birthday. Hey, thanks. Jim, I, I appreciate the call, Mr. Fister. <laughs> Jim was trying to stall for time to get a little excuse. Uh, well, maybe I'll have to get back to you on that. Hey, if, you could, if you could fax that list to me, I'd appreciate it. Hey, I'd appreciate knowing how you got a free room. Give me that guy's name. I may go for this deal. And do me a favor. What's that? Whatever you do, uh -huh. save the videotapes. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, Jim, hold on the line, okay? i got a little something for you. Yes, we'll save the video tape, <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> 918, Lamont and Tonelli. I will say that was hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, you can tell he was a little bit nervous. He, he was trying not to let it show, oh, oh. but he's trying to stall for a little time. Like, hey, can I get back to you on this? <laughs> oh, that was good stuff. Hello. Hey, David, I'm calling you back regarding the uh, fabric softener you're using. Didn't you get my message that I told you before? That I sleep all night. I mean, I sleep all day. I work all night. This is my time to sleep. This is like me calling you up at, like, midnight. Yeah, it's just you understand what I'm talking about? It's just a question. I just want an answer, please. What's that? What kind of uh, fabric softener do you use? Listen, you cowhead, I already told you. I don't know who you're doing the survey for, but I use stick it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think we have the brand name. Thank you. I'll say one thing. His, his clothes sure don't smell fresh. <laughs> All right, Sully, so let's give a call again. <laughs> they, okay. they all come out of the dryer looking like he works for UPS. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, they call you a towel head. Yeah. We're not going to stand for that. <laughs> oh, what, he disconnect his phone? Oh, uh, let's see. The old famous cash jail phone system. Here we go. There. Hey, David. What do you want now? Don't call me names, man. I know it's you. You what do you should. Want now? I think you should change your uh, fabric softener. Because you're too grounded this morning. Oh, man. This is a nightmare. Not a nightmare. I'm telling you the fact, man. Who are you? <laughs> Who is this? This is Sully with Kate's Your Radio. <laughs> oh, Sully, you, you said to forget us. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> Sully. Dave, what's the Sully show? You? <laughs> Dave, it's Lamont Tanelli. You're on the air on Dirty Friday, bro. Oh, I kind of thought I recognized. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure you did. But I was half asleep. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Hey, it's Dirty Friday. You're on the air on KSJO. Kenny said to give you a call. Oh, Good morning. Sorry. Hey, Sully. Yes? I'm sorry I called you a time. <laughs> <laughs> I was half asleep. I didn't know it was Oh, yeah, sure. Now the right, excuse is. He meant to call you a raghead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, uh, David, what, what kind of fabric softener do you use? <laughs> Hey, Puff. <laughs> hey, Dave, you still pretty sleepy? Well, I'm up now. <laughs> hey, David, hold on the line, okay? We have a little something for you. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, and hopefully you won't stay puffed so you can get some sleep. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty good guy. Sully, give him something pretty good, okay? All right. All right. <laughs>